In southern Thailand, entire communities are partially submerged by flood water. In recent weeks, heavier than usual monsoon rains swept across this narrow stretch of land, separating the Gulf of Thailand from the Andaman Sea. Some people have left for evacuation centers, but most prefer to stay and cope as best they can with the difficult conditions. I'm so unhappy about this situation. I'm very stressed. The water is high and I'm afraid that if there's another storm, my house will collapse. People come together on the nearest dry land to receive aid handed out by the government or local groups, but they say they need more. The flood this year is worse than last year and it's very difficult. We need assistance from the government because our livestock is stranded and needs food and the whole village is underwater. In the province of Songkla, all 16 districts have been declared disaster zones. To a large extent, the people of southern Thailand have become accustomed to flooding because it happens so often. The last time this area was underwater was in January. But there's also a sense of frustration that governments in Thailand come and go with little or no focus on long-term solutions. Because of Thailand's volatile political scene, governments change regularly. Politicians are rarely around long enough to work on sustainable projects that may help those who live in flood-prone areas, like proper drainage and water management. Governments only think about short-term solutions because they only stay for two to four years. So they only think about projects that can be completed within that time frame. In the meantime, it's mainly rural communities that suffer year after year. The people say they've lived here for generations and moving isn't an option. So they stay and put up with a watery existence, which is becoming increasingly common. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Songkla, Thailand.